This is the first time the United States will be turning over rotary and fixed-wing aircraft to the Philippine Army, which activated an aviation regiment late last year as the ground forces intensify counterinsurgency operations. The Philippines will send teams to the United States next month to inspect helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft to be transferred to the ground forces under the Excess Defense Articles EDA, program of the U.S. State Department as Washington pours more military aid to its former colony and longtime security partner. This is the first time the U.S. will be turning over rotary and fixed-wing aircraft to the Philippine Army, which activated an aviation regiment late last year as the ground forces intensify counterinsurgency operations to end the Maoist-led rebellion before the term of President Duterte ends in 2022. Washington has offered 4A-60 Black Hawk combat utility helicopters, 4A-1 Cobra attack helicopters and 5 twin-engine turboprop C-12 Beechcraft planes for troop transport and medical evacuation, according to an Army colonel familiar with the acquisition project but who declined to be named because he was not authorized to speak to the press. These are second-hand aircraft but are still operational the Army colonel told the Philippine Star. These are offered free, but we have to shoulder the cost of some repairs and shipment of the aircraft. We will also spend for the armaments and avionics, but these aircraft will certainly boost our capability. A second team will leave for the U.S. in April for further inspection of the aircraft, which will be delivered to the country later this year, despite threats by Duter to tone down security relations with Washington over continued criticism of his human rights record in connection with the ongoing war on drugs. Close to 6,000 people have been killed in legitimate police operations against illegal drugs and more than 3,000 others slain in drug-related incidents blamed on vigilantes, according to official police records. Before activating an aviation regiment, the Army relied on the Philippine Air Force for transporting troops and supplies, evacuating frontline casualties and supporting ground operations. The Air Force operates a variety of Bell Combat Utility helicopters, mounting light machine guns to support ground operations, MD-500 light attack helicopters, and Sikorsky helicopters to deliver airstrikes. The Air Force has also started using its F-A-50 light fighters to drop bombs on rebel positions, in addition to AV-10 Bronco turboprop planes. We could have acquired six C-12 planes for the Army, but one plane went to the Philippine Navy, which is also building up its aviation unit the Army colonel said, adding that naval aviation has two brand new Augusta Westland AW-159 Wildcat anti-submarine helicopters. In the future, we will also be acquiring brand new light attack helicopters, armed reconnaissance helicopters and multi-purpose medium lift helicopters. These assets will enable the Philippine Army to conduct a better array of aviation operations to support ground forces and be more responsive in the archipelagic setting in the defense posture he added. Foreign Affairs Secretary Teodoro Loxon Jr. has cited the increasing U.S. military aid to keep the Visiting Forces Agreement FA, which the president has threatened to abrogate due to the revocation of the U.S. visa of a close political ally and former National Police Chief, Senator Ronald Beto de la Rosa, among other reasons.